Hey everyone, it's AJ. Happy holidays. It's kind of an out and about, but we're actually out and about at home with AJ. So it's kind of a combo today. Uh, we're going to do a fun thing. If you joined me yesterday for our Trash to Treasure, we made this fun little cookie container that was originally an oatmeal container. Now it's fun and festive waiting for cookies to go in it. So hey, what better way to do it in the kitchen is to make up some of my favorite things cheap and easy holiday cookies. You're probably familiar with this classic, everybody is, um, your Rice Krispie Treats. According to the box on this off-brand, they are crispy marshmallow bars. Um, but if you pick up a box of these, whether you pick up the name brand stuff or the off-brand, I can almost guarantee you that the recipe is going to be right on the back of the box, which is a little bit of butter and margarine, your Rice Crisps, as they call it here, or crispy rice depending on what you buy, um, a bag of marshmallows. Um, the fabulous thing about this is you can pick this right around a dollar a box if you go with the off-brand. Um, marshmallows, same thing. I was actually able to get name brand marshmallows for a buck the other day at the store. How exciting is that? Um, if you go off-brand, a little less than a buck, so that's cool. And that's all you really need. Um, you can use a little butter in it if you like. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends. Um, one of the other things we've got here is cornflakes. If you've never made cornflake cookies or what we're going to make today is cornflake wreaths, again, they're very economical and you have, can actually pick up a box of off-brand cornflakes for less than what you can the rice crisp or crispy rice. Um, and the same, same theory applies, you're just going to melt your marshmallows, put your cereal in there and then we'll, we'll give them some shape and they'll look really cool. So we've got some neat ideas to kind of personalize it, make it a little fancier, because you know, you don't want to just mm, hand out some Rice Krispie treats. We want to put a little little holiday pizzazz onto it, right? So I'm going to show you some cool things you can do to kind of fancy up your Rice Krispie treats so they're not so plain and boring and, and they look a little better. And if you think that you can't um, make your Rice Krispie treats look a little fancier, go to Goofy's Candy Store in Disney and see what they charge for those. Um, you, you can really make them fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and make up a batch of Rice Krispies and I'll show you some of the fun things you can do with them to make some holiday treats and then we're going to make some cool cornflake wreaths um, so that you can pack those up in your fabulous container and before you know it you will have uh, a whole bunch of treats to share with your friends, neighbors or just enjoy on your own and the living room in front of a good Christmas movie, right? So one of the things you can do that's quick and easy and will give your cookies a nice look is I've taken just a regular sort of baking sheet, one with a kind of a thick edge on it, and I've covered it in foil. I'm going to spray it really, really good. I'm going to make sure that I get the size as well as the bottom really good because you know how sticky those uh, crispy treats are. And I am going to take just some uh, red and green sugar and some of these fun little roly-poly balls. I'm going to put my sugar down first, if I could get the container open. Uh, I'm going to put my sugar down first, and then I'm going to put the little round balls, and, and the reason I'm doing that is because if I put those round balls on there first, they're just going to, to roll everywhere, so the sugar will help keep that in place. Um, again, if I can ever get the container open. Oh my, there's no sprinkle on it. Well, here goes nothing, right? So I'm going to sprinkle that onto my tray and I'm going to take some of this beautiful green um, veteran bulk out there in Austinburg has some gorgeous colors um, especially this time of year super super pretty um, get a chance to get out there always got lovely baking supplies um, and the cool part about this is if you add the sugar you can actually use food coloring when you melt your marshmallows and tint your marshmallows like to be green or, or whatever color you want. Um, but if you do this, you, you don't have to tint your marshmallows and then you can actually kind of split the batch up and, and uh, make the, uh, the other things I'm going to show you in a minute, which are the ornaments. And then just break those balls in there. Like so. Super duper fun. 
And so then I have this pan that's just kind of, uh, let me be a five minutes and then let me put it on. Yeah, I just like them, it's so fun and fancy. Um, and I'll, I'll give you a shot of what this pan looks like. I'm gonna melt my Rice Krispies and we're gonna put them in this pan and press them down really hard and then it'll, it'll be fun. So uh, let me get a close up on this for you. So that's my pan covered with sugar and the little fun festive Christmas bowls and now we're going to get some Rice Krispies going in that pan. Okay, I went ahead, I did the whole food coloring thing because, you know, I had to, so I have this lovely sort of glowing green, ooh, how fabulous is that, going to make some pretty trees. I want to let this cool slightly because if I put it in there too hot, it's going to melt my pretty little sugar a little bit. So I'm just going to keep it moving around in the pan for a minute or so just to kind of let it cool now that I've taken it off of the heat. And when I put it in my pan, um, you can use a piece of wax paper or um, I'm just going to use um, a spatula. I'm just going to grease that really well or you could just, you know, grease up your hands, butter up those hands and smush it down that way. Um, and I feel like this might be cool enough. Let's see. So we're going to take our blob and we're just going to dump that right into the pan there. And I'll put it in my sugar coated pan. And of course as I move it around it's, it's going to slide my sugars around a little bit. But that's okay. It's all going to be fun anyway. Right, and we're just gonna kind of move that around the pan. Let's go hot, and I'm gonna grease my little spatula here and get it going, and sort of help me get this moved around a little bit. I can scrape that off of there. I'm just gonna kind of move it around until we get it to the corners of the pan, nice and tight, because. The more you compress it, the firmer the cookie's going to be, and we're going to actually um, cut this into nice triangular little shapes so we can make these really super cool little Christmas trees with it. They're going to be so fun and festive when we're done. You'll just absolutely love it. You won't want to give them away. But maybe you won't. Maybe you'll keep them for yourself, and that's okay too. You deserve a gift at Christmas, right? Everybody needs a gift at Christmas. So we're just gonna just really smash those down in there really good, really nice and compact. You can even take a rolling pin if you wanted to and roll it across there. And we're just gonna get that nice and smushed. And then, once we get it nice and smushed in there, I'm going to give it another coat of uh, sprinklies. And I can do the balls on this side really easily because now i got all the Rice Krispie stuff in there. And I'm going to throw a little red sugar on there. Just to get some pretty... And I'm going to sprinkle some green on there just because even though it'll blend in, it'll still be sparkly and the stuff is just too pretty. It'll give that extra lovely little sparkly sparkly. And I'm just going to take my spatula one more time. I'm going to give it a nice little grease just to make sure that it doesn't stick because I don't want the little candy balls sticking there. And that will help press your little, uh, little decorated uh, balls into the little Rice crispy thing. And so there we go. And now that that's in the pan, we're just going to set that aside and let that cool for a little bit. Um, let that, that harden up and then we'll take it out and we'll cut it and it will be fabulous. So while that's cooling, we are actually going to repeat that same recipe and you can look it up online. It, again, it's on the back of the um, Rice Krispie box, but if you're going to do cornflakes, you're not going to have the recipe, but maybe you will. I don't know. Let's see. On the back of this one. Oh, no. You're just going to get chicken and fried ice cream. Hmm. 
that sounds yummy but we're gonna make cornflake wreaths and basically what you're gonna need is a 10 ounce bag of marshmallows a half a stick of butter or margarine and six cups of cornflakes and you're gonna do the same process you're gonna melt the butter you're gonna throw in your cereal you're gonna stir it around and then we're gonna drop it onto some wax paper and make it into cool little wreaths so I have some more green uh, stuff here, a little Grinchy Green uh, cornflake mixture. And I've got it all stirred around in here. Now I'm just gonna spoon it out onto my wax paper. And we're just gonna kinda put a little blob down here. Probably should have greased the spoon first, you know. As we do that, we're just gonna, yeah, we should have greased the spoon first. Note to self, grease the spoon. Okay, grease the spoon. And as we put it uh, down onto our wax paper, we're gonna just try and make a little hole right in the middle. We're gonna keep our spoon kind of in the center and turn it a little bit. And I will show you that in a moment. And then when they harden up, you'll have these cute little wreaths. And I also have some lovely little red hots here. I actually just dumped them all over the counter a second ago. You can take a few of those and add them onto your wreath while it's still kind of warm and mushy. So they kind of stick in there like fun little holly berries. Of course now my fingers are greasy and I've got little holly berries sliding everywhere. So we're just gonna spoon these out onto our wax paper. And shape them as we go. Probably too much. And you can make these as big or as small as you want to. And we're just going to shape those into these nice, fun, festive wreaths. And if you didn't want to use Red Hots, you could use a little piping or frosting on there. Um, I almost thought about using some of those little, uh, the little, the little teeny tiny, like moth, 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 not moth balls. Ooh. Good heavens, um, malt balls, the, the six lits is that what they're called? And they come in fun. I think I have some in the other room, I'll have to see. But those would be fun and festive and they're colorful and they come in different colors. Um, or you could, you know, you could use the sprinkles on there, those fun little balls. Um, but again, I'm just using the center of my spoon to kind of work that wreath around so that we have fun little shape when we're all done and I'm ready. but yeah it's kind of hard I could kind of pick this up my candy falls off never mind I'll show you in a minute and you do kind of want to work quickly so that your stuff doesn't harden up in the pan and then it doesn't get a lot of yuckiness so I'm gonna work on this for a minute. Feel free to talk among yourselves. Discuss the holidays. And then once they've had a few minutes to sit and harden, you'll have a fun and festive, delicious little cornflake cookie. Um, the, the really cool thing about the cornflakes is there's enough in the box that you could probably do another batch. So. With a couple bags of marshmallows, a stick of butter, and a box of cornflakes, you can do a ton of cookies, um, which is really cool. So I am going to package these up, and we're going to see if our Rice Krispie treats are ready to um, be cut into trees, because that's what we're doing next. So I'm going to package these up and get them ready for our handy dandy container. So I thought I'd give you a quick tip also on how to wrap these. I have taken just some regular um, plastic wrap and I've laid it out in kind of a plus sign, piece going this way, piece going this way, 
I'm just going to take my wreaths and I'm going to lay it right smack dab in the center of that plus sign. I've taken some wax paper and just cut it up into little pieces so that my cookies won't stick together, that the paper won't show too much either. And I'm just going to stack those one on top of the other, kind of trying to get the big ones on the bottom and of course the smaller ones towards the top. And this ends up being really pretty too if you don't, whoopsie, I'm losing my little holly bears. Um, if you don't have a container to put it in, you just want to wrap it up or maybe you're planning on putting it in a basket or something like that. This is kind of a fun and easy way to do this. And then once I get them all together, I'm just going to pull up one side and kind of bring it tight. And then I'm going to bring up the other side, kind of tuck it all together, and then I could just take a piece of string or a piece of ribbon, my rubber band, and tie that around so that I have a nice bundle of cookies there wrapped up and ready to go. I can drop it right into that canister with some other stuff, or I can put it in a basket or whatever I need to do. So that's just a extra little tip on how to package up your cornflake wreath cookies. So we're ready to work with our Rice Krispie trees. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this uh, foil sheet out. I'm just going to flip it over. And we've got lots of pretty on the other side. It's so gorgeous. And we're going to remember to grease the knife. Spin. Give that. Oh. And here comes Farkas. It's not a video unless Farkas joins us, isn't it? And so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use our knife to um, cut into little triangular trees. And you know, if you're talented enough and you can kind of, you know, just eyeball a triangle, that's great. Um, you know, talented enough to kind of get a good triangle. Um, or if you need a, a cheat sheet, you know, do a little tracing, um, a nice little piece of wax paper in a nice triangular shape, um, which I'm going to use, so I'm going to get my guide and um, do that. That way I'm going to go ahead and just make my triangle cut right now. Well, that's nice. Sparkus is getting a drink now, too. Go ahead and cut this down the center. Kind of sticky. And then I can just sort of cut my trees. My little triangles. I do have my little guide. Just to... And if you have a cookie cutter, cookie. Christmas tree shaped cookie cutter that works out really nice. Um, I just cut the edge off of that. Shoot, that's okay. Well, I guess I'll just have to eat because you know that's how it goes. Um, but once you get it rolling, you can kind of get a nice little pattern of just turning your knife back and forth. then you have these fun and festive little trees and then what you can do even is you can take a straw, take a nice paper straw, kind of work that very carefully into your tree and then you can wrap the top of it off um, and it becomes very fun, very festival decoration. You can put these in little you know, cute little cup, little mug, cut that straw off a little bit. Um, and once you wrap it, it'll get nice and healthy. But there you go. You got these fancy little uh, Rice Krispie Christmas trees. 
Um, one of the other things you can do to kind of, um, again, step up your Rice Krispie treats is throw a little flavoring in there. Um, you get little bottles of flavoring you can add a better bulk. Um, they have all kinds of fun flavors like you could throw a little strawberry or a little lemon in there. Um, they even have some fun flavors like mango. Give it an extra little like hey what's this. Um, you can also substitute uh, peanut butter instead of butter uh, when, when you're melting your butter. Put peanut butter in there instead um, and that gives it a, a great flavor and then if you dip these in chocolate after the peanut butter um, definitely uh, takes your Rice Krispie treats to the next level. I'm going to show you one more thing you can do with your Rice Krispie treats to make them look extra fancy and extra festive um, especially if you're packing them up and getting them ready for um, holiday gift giving so don't go anywhere we're going to make one more batch of Krispie treats. So one of the other fun things you can do with your Rice Krispie Treats is you can kind of make them into fun shapes. I've made another batch. Um, ignore the color. I was kind of running out of um, food coloring and um, I thought maybe I had like a neon red. Um, I'm not sure what color it is. So I'm actually going to use a ladle to kind of just help me shape this a little bit. And you want to let it cool just a little bit before you try shaping it. And of course, I did remember this time to um, spray the ladle, hopefully. That, and that kind of, you may want to also spray your hands after a couple rounds of. But we're just going to shape these into a nice little ball so that we have like a little Christmas ornament and then we're even going to roll those in our little fun little uh, red and green balls. I don't know what I think of this color. Anyway, we're just going to let that kind of sit and harden up for just a second. While that's sitting looking cute, I'm going to show you what you're going to add to get this really cool little Christmas ornament look, even though mine is, I, I, I don't know what color that is. So what you can do to give this a really cool look is I have some uh, little candy uh, caramel things that are a unique little shape to them and you can do this while it's warm and the chocolate will kind of just melt on there and you can kind of just squish it down in there and again this isn't very pretty because my color is so ugly but then you have this little Christmas ornament. And you can lay them on a little tray and they'll be you know, really cute and really fabulous. Um, you can kind of shape them into bulb forms, get really creative with them. And again that little thing on top and you can even add a little like string to it if you wanted to um, just for extra cuteness. Gives it a nice shape and again just something different, a little bit more fancy uh, packaging for um, a pretty simple and easy treat. Um, one of the other things you can do, don't forget, extra little tip, save your cereal boxes, cut them in half, tape your top that you open, uh, cover it with a little wrapping paper, poke some holes in it, and put a little string through there. You'll have a nice little handle, a little basket to put your yummies in. So literally for just a few dollars you can whip up a lot of holiday cheer to package up and give to a friend or a neighbor who doesn't want some Christmas meatballs, right? Or package up in the mail to someone far away. Or just have a little snack all on your own. If you give it a try, let me know how it goes. And make sure that you like this and share this because we want your friends to become our friends. Because again, it's the holidays. We all need more friends, right? And whatever you do this holiday season, please stay safe, stay well, and we will see you real soon. Happy holidays, everybody.